What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have a new Icarus video for you. We're going to be showing you the new item that was added in Icarus for week 110, the new Titanium Tower Shield. And we're also going to show you all the news that they have for upcoming updates as well, including the batteries and, soon to come, a new smoker and some recipes in the game. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 110 Titanium Tower Shield. With 140 degrees of area coverage and 85% damage resistance, it's one of the strongest defensive items to date, but will require a lot of mats to craft. Now, it says in the patch notes that it's craftable in the machining bench. I've not found that to be true. It seems like the only place I could craft it is in the foundry. It does take titanium plate, epoxy, cured leather, and steel screws to make. And when attached to your back, the shield provides a strong defense against damage from behind, giving it a multi-purpose use, even when not equipped. Let's check it out. You will find it in the tech tree in tier 4, and go towards the middle where the titanium tools are, and you will notice the new titanium tower. Power shield. A heavy duty shield made from ultra strong titanium providing excellent protection against threats. 140 degrees blocking angle, 85% damage blocked by shield, and is made with titanium cured leather epoxy steel screws and titanium ingots. It does say at the very bottom there it's crafted at the foundry, so at least in game it does show you where it is actually crafted at. Let's make it. I have went ahead and double checked, it does not craft in the machining bench so we're gonna go up to our foundry now one thing to note we are in the foundry here and you can see the titanium tower shield here you could craft it it does have a higher block percentage by only about about 10 over the composite tactical shield but the composite tactical shield actually does have a much wider block range of 200 versus the 140 that the titanium tower shield has but the titanium shield is the shield that blocks everything but 15 percent damage and right, we're gonna go ahead and craft one here of course you could always put items like shields on your bar or in your g-slot if you put it in your g-slot then you should be able to use weapons as well one-handed ones hit g bring up our weapon and now we can right click it and use it and let's take a look at see what it looks like so if you're currently look at it with a backpack you'll notice that it does it it it, it just doesn't work for what is going on why does i do why do i have two of those hold on okay you could kind of duplicate glitch it that's fine um okay so it seems like it is kind of disappearing but it's also kind of okay there we go now it's working but that is what the titanium shield looks like right there it's it's very basic looking to be honest with you um nothing too awful impressive i don't believe but it does provide the most damage protection, so let's go try it out. Let's see how it does in a real world test. Nineteen. Not too bad. Me in that river. So it seems like it's quite durable. It actually only has taken a little slither of damage so far, and so have I. So, which is not bad at all. So 85% of the damage is transferred to your shield. Which means you take a very small amount of damage. So if you take like a ton of damage, this will reduce it by 85%. So 85% block. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you use shields? I'd love to know who actually uses these. Um, I don't personally use them a lot, but maybe later in the game when they add more animals or more creatures, maybe they might be more important. I don't know. We'll see. Also, if you're getting hit from behind, it will do some passive damage resistance as well. See, it's blocking about six damage, and we're taking about 30, it looks like. So it does do, like all other shields, it does do some passive damage reduction from getting hit behind if it's just on your back. Werewolf. They also want to let them know that they're back, and welcome back. 
They're back in the office this week with the most of the team returning from their holidays after a well-deserved break. We're looking at all the bugs, comments, and feedback from everybody. And this patch is the last of their holiday patches, so be ready for longer change logs again from next week. They go into the further development of the battery and networks update. As mentioned in previous weeks, they are nearing completion of the batteries and network system. Thank God. Windmills are having a huge problem and the lines as well. So that's a much welcome change coming hopefully soon. It's all functional, they say, and they are working on bug fixes that they find during the testing progress and working on some quality of life and other changes. They're wanting to get it to us as quick as possible, but due to some issues with the build machines, it was unfortunate they weren't able to provide a build before the holiday period. They are working on these issues now while others are still cleaning up the new system. We also got some optimization and missions coming soon common request to every single update is more work on optimization and you should you should honestly stop everything you're doing and optimize the game so people can play it i highly believe that and the bugs get rid of the bugs too they say that they are going to continue this indefinitely but due to the nature of the work that their time frames can be unpredictable it relies heavily on the analysts and testing of some optimizations that they simply don't achieve a good enough result to be worth mentioning. Rest assured, there are several aspects of this that they are still working on, and when and if it yields good results, they're gonna make sure we know about it. They also talk about missions, and they also talk about how it's longer to make a mission. They plan on doing some missions and stuff like that in the future, but they put missions and everything on hold for the open world integration. But since they've wrapped that up now, they are well positioned to author entirely new missions content again. Expect to see these more in the future updates. And they give us a sneak peek of what's coming next week it's the new smoker and recipes next week we're adding a new charcoal powered smoker to your three which will include all the drying rack recipes as well as 10 new recipes to go along with that which will provide different food buffs that's so we're getting more food buffs and they also mentioned stationers got the rocket update and they have it here if you're interested there will be a link to this in the description down below, and you'll be more than welcome to click on that. They also say support our development, where expansions are where they vastly extend gameplay. Our outposts and content packs is where they provide a way for those to enjoy the project to further support it. And in return, receive some simple new content. This content is not essential for the game or to benefit from most of our weekly content updates. They want you to give them money and complete the set if you continue to enjoy Icarus and want to provide support for its ongoing development and uh they mentioned the changelog here and that's it's just really honestly uh it's a titanium tower shield recipe and talent that's what it is and there's no other additional changelog this week and that's it that's the update video hopefully next week we'll have some beefier update to take a look at it's build 3.0 time that means if you join our discord and send me a message on discord we can go ahead and record your base for our build 3.0 video if you're not familiar with our build series we'll have some links in our description down below with build 1 and 2.0 and we show all the people who decide to have us record their bases and designs we show all that on youtube record it and then put it on youtube and give people credit for it so if you are interested in me recording a base that you have built and would like a shout out for it and put it on a YouTube video that could get thousands of views, let me know. Contact me on Discord. If you don't get a message from me after about a day or two, send me another message, please. Sometimes my Discord acts up. And we just want to thank our late night crew members, KHX Sergio, which has been a member for 12 months. Nice. Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Food Bar, Chris Parsons, and Sky Reaper One. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew and for supporting the channel. Don't forget you can join Late Night Crew as well and get access to our exclusive member only videos, perks, emotes, stuff like that. And thank you also to our Late Night Crew supporters as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will get you Icarus update videos and content videos whenever those come out as well. Hopefully, we'll see you for the build 3.0. I also forgot to mention that that is going on till next Friday, so the 19th. So, we have a whole week to record. If you want to, get with me. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.